guys, Player One bringing you more PS4 tips to help you get through your very first day in Fallout 76. Today is Reclamation Day and as you emerge from the vault, you'll be given some starter supplies. You'll get a Pip-Boy, one water, a Red X, a Red Away, five skim packs, a few so, crafting supplies, the... and your camp. Other than your pit boy and camp, these supplies won't last long, but they'll keep you going till you can get more. And I'm going to show you how to get a lot more. Stay tuned! And here we are. Welcome. Now the wasteland is a dangerous place. Your survival will depend on your ability to avoid dehydration and starvation and to prevent and heal damage you sustain. No, you can't go back in. You've got a few starter supplies, but long term you'll need to know how to get your own food and water and you'll need armor and weapons. First, let's get you a weapon. Search this body at the bottom of the stairs and press X to collect each item. Now you have a machete. Highlight it in your pit boy and the dot next to it means you're now armed. Good. When you need it, press R2 to bring up your weapon. You'll also need armor, so we're going to the overseer's camp because there's resources there. Open the map by pressing your options button. See the square? Press X to mark it. It now appears like a sign on your navigation line at the bottom of your screen. Let's follow that marker. You can walk there in a short while. You can run a little by pressing the L3 knob forward, but you don't have enough stamina yet to run far. Not to worry, you'll be there shortly. We just have to go through a little bridge, and it's right on the other side. There we go. There's the bridge. Here we are. Here at the Overseer's Camp, everything is built to help you. Gather everything you can from this camp. And be sure to look in the Overseer's Cash Box and take the items in there. See the canned goods? That's useful. And some, some fresh meat. We'll cook that in a minute. Now this is the armor workbench. Uh, she can't make armor yet because she doesn't have any any leather. Let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll find some. Oh wow. See this bag on the ground? Someone left us a gift of supplies they don't need. Oh that's some good items. Thank you whoever you are if you ever hear this. Let's take these items too. Get that. Oh good, the toolbox has some leather. We can make armor later. And this is your stash box, your personal storage space. Everyone uses the same boxes, but only your things will be available to you when you open it. You'll have a stash box in your camp when you build it, and every train station and Red Rocket gas stations have them too. Now at the weapon station, we're going to modify the machete by giving it a serrated blade. That adds three points of damage to it. And since we found some leather, we can go make at least a little bit of armor. Let's see how many pieces we can make. We're going to make light armor, start with the chest piece, and we have enough to make an one arm. So we'll have some protection in the wilderness. Be sure to put the armor on by highlighting it and selecting it in your pit boy. Okay, now you're protected with some armor. And always scrap your junk items at any type of workbench. Junk weighs less when it's scrapped. Then you store the junk in your stash box along with everything you don't need right now. You open it and press the triangle to store all of your junk at once. Now lastly, before we leave the overseer's camp, we're going to cook that mole rat meat that we found on the table over there. 
you can eat raw food because that gives you a lot of rads and the possibility for disease. So we have to cook everything that we eat and drink. Okay, we've got armor and a weapon. Next, food and water. Time to load up on supplies. Let's go to Flatwoods. Open a map and let's move our marker to Flatwoods and press X. Okay, new marker on our navigation bar. Just stay on this road. It's just down the street. See you there. Okay, here we are at Flatwoods. First, we're going to get water. We're going to scoop up a bunch of dirty water from the stream behind Flatwoods Church. Then we'll cook it into healthy boiled water and store some in our stash box. However, first we protect ourselves from rats. That's radiation damage. This is the church and we're just going to go right behind the church to get to the stream. While we walk, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on radiation. Because the bombs, our world is saturated with radiation. It's in the air, the food, the water. So we have to protect ourselves from it. It's registered on the red part of your health bar at the bottom of your screen. We use Radex to prevent radiation damage and we use Radaway to remove damage that we've already received. We're taking a Radex now since we're gathering a lot of water. Okay, the rats are taken care of. Let's scoop up a ton of dirty water. We might as well make the most of that rat axe and get as much as we can. When we boil this water, we're going to end up with one boiled water for every two dirty waters. Oh good, we got 57 dirty waters. When we boil this water, we're going to end up with one boiled water for every two dirty waters. Okay, let's go to the cooking station. We use the church as our landmark. Across the street from the church is a restaurant. Next to the restaurant is a cooking school area where there's wood to cook with and a cooking station. Occasionally you might have to kill a robot, but just keep hitting it. You can do it. There you see, piece of cake. Oh, and if you need healing, press the right directional button on your controller. It's hot wired into your stim packs and one will be automatically dispensed to heal you. Good job. Now there's usually two stacks of wood in case you don't have any. Just grab some and cook that dirty water into boiled water. You won't be dehydrating anytime soon. fantastic. You've got a ton of boiled water. And while we're at it, I killed a mole rat on the way here, so let's get that cooked too. Now let's check the food and water levels for your character. Press the O on your controller to bring up your inventory. It says you need food. A little water, but mostly food. So let's have something to eat. Well, now that we've stocked up on water, we can turn our attention to food. You've collected some canned food already, but you'll need more. And fresh meat gives you extra benefits. You can often kill wild dogs and mole rats on the road between the Overseer's Cache and Flatwoods. They're not hard to kill. Just walk backwards and keep swinging and they'll follow you and become dead. Collect the meat. In Flatwoods we have Brahmin, which you can kill for their meat and hides. Milk them first to get extra food resources. When cooked, we get ribeye steaks and leather to make into armor. There's more around, but I'm going to just show you one. There are usually four or five wandering around in the little field next to the church. You can use vats to find them. Let's cook this steak and check out the opossum. A little opossum lives in the alley behind the restaurant. 
Their meat has a tasty, bacony flavor when cooked. Well, someone else must have had it for lunch. Let's run down to the Red Rocket gas station and store some of this boiled water. Let's get our bearings down the street from the church on the corner. Sometimes there's robots there, but you can take them. It's not many, not more than two. Oh, and there they are, waiting for us. Here I press the controller's touch pad to switch to overhead view so I can see where they are. One more. Press the right directional button to use the skin pack to restore your health when you need it. Collect the loot. All right. As you can see, there's a lot of loot we can pick up later. Right now, I want to finish showing you where more food items are. Let's store some of our water so we don't have to carry it. Now let's look at the lo local veggies. You can make nourishing soups with vegetables and boiled water. Right next to this red rocket is the Flatwoods Community Garden. Here we have mutton fruit and silk bean, and both of them make great soup. And a mole rat. Where are you? Ah, good. Collect the meat. Now, mud fruit are also all over the forest, not just here. And tatoes are right across the street. See that gray house? There's a tato garden in the backyard. Let's pick some up to make tato soup with later. Good. There are a lot of vegetables around to cook with. Just remember, uncooked food gives you rads. So cook everything. You can make soups with herbs as well, like these blue soup flowers that are everywhere. Here's some. Let's see in here. And here's some glowing fungus that makes a useful soup. And you can make snaptail into sugar which boosts your AP and be on constant lookout for wood to cook with. Just click on any dead tree on the ground and you can collect wood. Let's go back and cook all this up and pick up the silk beans too. They grow right next to the church. You see that? There's a whole bunch of them. Keep in mind that you'll always be finding canned and boxed food from containers as you scavenge. Those foods don't spoil, but cooked foods do spoil, so just keep an eye on their condition by looking at their description in the aid section of your pit boy. Well, let's cook all this up. We're almost set. Well, you now have a ton of water and a ton of food. But more importantly, you know how to get it easily. Only one thing left to be all set for the days ahead, healing. You will run out of stim packs. Now you'll be collecting stim packs as you scavenge through the town. But just remember, when you don't have any stim packs, you can always Sleep. Sleep restores hit points. It just takes a minute. Just be sure to sleep up off the ground to avoid disease. If you've built your camp already, you can fast travel there for free and go sleep there. If you haven't built yet, 
just go sleep in a bed in a church. They're off the ground, and in adventure mode, you're perfectly safe. No one can harm you, and you also get a boost from being caught up on sleep. Best thing to do if you have a lot of rads is to take a rad away before you sleep. Then the sleep will restore your health back to 100%. Please put questions in the comments section below or any requests for other how-to or brand new player videos. Oh, and in the church to the right of the door is another overseer's cache. Be sure to check it out. Au revoir.